Ladies and gentlemen, Simon Phoenix checking back in today, guys. Got another unboxing for you. This one I'm excited about. And this barrel came really, really fast. I can't believe how fast this barrel came. Uh, Bear Creek Arsenal, man. Um, been looking at their videos. 704 Tactical, who does a lot of Bear Creek Arsenal stuff. Um, Beretta, Young Beretta, or Beretta USA 9mm, their channel. They do a lot of... Uh, Bear Creek Arsenal stuff, just reading forums, and uh, for the price you can't beat, for the price you cannot beat Bear Creek Arsenal. I'm sure there's better barrels out there, Faxon, um, I know CAC makes a uh, 7.62x39 uh, uh, barrel that I wanted, it. I wanted the 18 inch one, but I started rethinking and rethinking, I was like, well, you know what, I'll just go with a 16 inch 7.62x39, 18 inch 5.56, because that 5.56 five, round needs as much velocity. Um, you know, 60, I have, this is my 16 inch 5.56 five, here. Um, but that 18 inch, I want to see what that 18 inch, in, inch does. So here's the unboxing of the barrel for my 7.62 by 39 build, guys. Sexy as hell. Once I clean it up, get it all cleaned up, it's going to be sexy. Now, this is the, uh, the bear claw version. It is a heavy barrel, but these are my go to war rifles. And heavy barrel is going to heavy barrel heavy barrel is going to be it. It's going to do it. Um this thing is really sexy. I can't wait to get her cleaned up. I ordered it. Um it was a good deal off the line. And uh, which which sucks because now they can, they gave me a coupon last night to my email, $10 off barrel with free shipping. And I ended up using that to buy the 18-inch Black Wolf barrel. And you guys will see a video on that one. Um, as you can see, there's a stamp 762 by 39, 1 in 10 twists, stainless steel, USA, mel melanite uh, coating. I, I think that's melanite. Should be melanite. Yeah, it should be melanite. Um, let me check that. The uh, M4 feet ramps look pretty good on there. I'm actually impressed, man. I'm really impressed with this this barrel. It's not bad. Um, I know you can't see down the barrel. The light, no, whatever. Um, so here it is. I can't wait to start this build up. I already started buying ammo for this stuff. I don't have any uh, steel case. I have all brass. It's the Fiocchi brass. I've been I've been getting it for like nine bucks, ten bucks a pop. Um, it is what it is. I'm going to try to find some more brass so I can do testing on this. And then I'm going to go into the uh, Military Wolf uh, classic stuff and start firing that out of this. So um, tell me what you guys think with, of this barrel. Uh, one guy online said his barrel is a tack driver. This particular barrel for this caliber was a tack driver. So I'm excited to get this build going and, and see what happens, man. So... There it is, man. Everything's coming together. All my crap I got coming in. Um, this gun's pieced apart because uh, I got, I'm still working on it, waiting on the grip to do the grip on there. Once I put the grip on there, and I have a, a new ambidextrous safety for this one. This one I put on is a short one, short throw. I don't like it, so I went with the standard. I like the, the I have, you know long fingers to reach it so just like this one it's gonna look like that one right there so um some tips and tricks on i mean i've pretty much been doing research on 762 by 39 builds on everything you need to do to, in order to get it work so i'm not too worried about that they even dimpled this barrel which is cool but when it comes down to dimple barrels i use uh clamp on gas blocks i'm not gonna dimple my barrel i mean i know some guys are pretty good at doing it but i don't want to dimple my barrel i'd rather use a clamp on gas block um so i'm gonna do that now just make life easier just make the ar platform a lot easier it's already a simple platform to work on but you know certain things make it even more simple now you know the uh the new hand guards where you don't have the time the barrel nut you know the clamp on you, you can build these things in less than 30 minutes it's unsa I mean, I put a lower together myself. I mean, a Strike Industries lower on my lower that got stolen. I, I, it took me literally 15 to 30 minutes to, to put a Strike Industries um, lower parts kit into a lower. And I was so excited because I couldn't real I couldn't believe how easy it was to put a lower together. I was like, wow, dude. So you know, once you learn the 
intricacies of this AR-15 platform, which is a great platform, then then you start piecing things out and things that you want that's going to fit your needs. So, all right, guys, signing out.